We're in Jamaica, man. And we're going to show you what the part looks like coming up next on the Indie Explorers. <laughs> Explorers. It is, uh, what day is it? It's Wednesday and it's all we need to know. And I'm closing my eyes because I knew what you were doing. <laughs> we I don't want to be reminded. It's Falmouth. Wednesday. That's all we need to know. <laughs> we are in Falmouth, Jamaica. We don't really have a lot of plans Watch today. your mouth. Falmouth. <coughs> Falmouth. We don't have, really have a lot of plans. We hear that Falmouth is, the port area is blocked off. It was built in 2006. It's for the cruise ships. Well, it has a pretty big barrier with restaurants and things that yes. you could do so if you don't want to go outside. Beyond that, there is a fenced off area. Beyond so we're like, we're like fenced in from the rest of the people. Um, so we're going to see what that looks like because we haven't really <clears throat> seen videos on. You don't have to stay like. fenced in, but <laughs> you can go out and leave. It, it might be safer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but remember, Disney is not going to take you to any place that's going to be unsafe. Otherwise, it wouldn't take you there. So we'll take you along with us today. At once. Please watch us explore. If you haven't already, please subscribe to us. Join the no hit the notification. Please watch us. That's what you did. So you can <laughs> join. Oh all the my God! He's breaking out in song, everybody. <laughs> so Greg, this is the weather that I expected us when we were in. They're doing a drill right now. This is the weather I expected us when we came. Really the first true day of a, a warm day. Really bright in the sun. Uh, yes, it was pretty warm too. Yeah, not like this though. This, today's more intense. We saw a stingray out there. Yeah, down over there we saw a stingray. It looks like there's some reefs out here that the water's hitting, making yep. some waves. Cool. Beautiful water. Here in Jamaica. To make a man. These are the different shops. It's really windy out here. <laughs> These are the different shops that you can without having to go out beyond the port area because it is protected and, and marked off. So this is the only area that that uh, cruise people. We only have one ship here today. It's obviously ours. The other one, if it was here, would be down on the other side. So it's just us today, it looks like.
So for the Americans that can't get enough of their American cuisine, look what we have. We've got here. hot dogs and fries. Right next to the Blue Mountain Coffee, the Tortuga Rum Chuck. You got Nathan's famous hot dogs. You have Quiznos, which I didn't even know they were still around. And you have Dairy Queen. Ooh. Across this way over there on the other side is where they had Starbucks. So there's enough familiar American things here that you can enjoy. Yeah. Only here, Falmouth, Jamaica. <laughs> they have, hey, there's Blue Mountain Coffee. I'd like to try that. You can like actually chop on the granules of sugar <laughs> in this thing. We um, I've never had like that, something like that before. So Greg, always wanted a, a dilly dilly. But there's no Always alcohol. wanted the Blue Mountain Coffee, which is famous in Jamaica. I don't think I've ever heard of it. And um, so we had it here. We're going to try that to see how it is. Across the way are Jamaican Pachis Man, and we have to try one. We're going to share one. Uh, yeah, I'll share it. Right over here. It's warm, it's windy, it feels great. We're loving the weather. We got our coffee, we're set to go. Hey, he's back! Which we is, go fetch his coffee. Which is why I was just having a conversation with our team. So when we when we film, we like to travel light. We don't want all this complicated this equipment because I'm notorious for that's very. Why did you open it? Just because. Um, I forgot my drink. Sure, nothing was in there that shouldn't oh. be. Oh my gosh, Greg. Hey, you. So we're gonna try it. this. chomp on sugar. We asked for a beef patty, which is it's deep fried, so it's, I didn't expect weird. that. I was thinking it was a burger. So we're going to try this. Uh, Hope your hands are clean. Well, they are now. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Which side would you like? Yeah. I'll just take a bite. Greg. So, pretty windy up here, but people talk about how the um, port area is enclosed for just cruise yeah. people when you come into Falmouth, walk, Jamaica. We walked all through here. I think this is the best view that you can have for what the shopping will be. Yep. So, as you come over here, you are let, you go in this area down here, and you basically have all the way down here where that green roof is, and then all the way down here where the there's a tall brown roof building and then there's a short line of uh, red roofs that's about as far as you can go and you can go around to that um, down over here and next there's a single roof that is where the market is uh, kind of like a craft market and um, and then the Jamaican patties and the blue coffee blue mountain coffee are in this area here so <laughs> pretty small area but there are, there's a lot of um, areas for you to come in and shop. So um, you don't have to go into the, ci the city part of Falmouth. This is it here. This is what you do for shopping. We are pulling away from Falmouth, Jamaica. This is 
actual footage of Greg trying to survive a hurricane. We are at Paloa, and this is another Disney thing, adult thing, that you can do on a Disney ship. Welcome back. How's How is your cruise going, sir? Yeah, we're almost done with this day. It's been amazing. Hey, explorers, we are in hey, Palo. I think Greg just ordered the whole I left and right not, side I of the menu. I did not. I hardly ate today, so I'm very hungry. And you're paying forty dollars. Is it forty dollars? Forty dollars. Forty dollars for whatever you want to eat. So by golly, I'm going to make use of that forty dollars. If you paired it, it was sixty-five dollars, <coughs> and the menu was a little bit different. But yeah. we stuck with choosing what we wanted. Again, we got a lot of food coming. I'm a little bit nervous. I hope we can put a dent into this. Oh, you'll be fine. He had to change some of the foods coming out as appetizers. Some of it's coming out we will be as fine. main dining. So it's we'll show you. Experience. We'll show you how it comes out. But this It'll is Palo. Just fine. This is Palo, a specialty dining restaurant, and yes. all the Disney ships. Very good food. Greg, did he say what this was? <laughs> yeah. Some kind of mushroom thing. It's, Ooh, it's like warm. A, it's a mushroom soup type thing to cleanse your, your palate. palate I okay. Guess, yeah. It's different. It's kind of like, like a cream of mushroom. Hmm. This is on top of everything. They didn't tell us this part. <laughs> explain to you what we have on the plate. So we have prosciutto, which is cured pork meat. We have the brisala cured beef tenderloin, heart of artichoke, red and yellow bell peppers, Italian olives, and in the middle, parmigiano reggiano with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Eight year old from Madeira. Mm -hmm. German, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm going to put the, the pappardelle in the middle, okay, for you guys to share. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Careful, that's hot. <laughs> okay, the plate is very hot, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back with some parmesan cheese. So, Greg, how did you like it? You had the seared scallops with risotto, and then this one had a grilled lobster tail with the pasta. What did you like? How did you like that? Well, I haven't had any of the scallops yet, but... What? I did. Okay, you want to see that? Okay. Very good. Yeah, they're really there good. There are fish eggs in that, and I ate them. Never again. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, some of these fish legs or eggs. I told him he wouldn't like them. They pop in your <coughs> mouth, and it's like. Little like bits of fluid large caviar. in your mouth. It's gross. It's like large caviar. It looks like uh, Finding Nemo eggs. If oh I'm my bad. god. <laughs> this is lemon sorbet with blueberry to cleanse your palate before the next course. Mm. Yeah. Lemon sorbet. So between meals, Greg, 
they give you different things. Not all of them, but... They cleanse your palate. I'm going to put the beef tenderloin in the middle. And okay. The so that is a grilled lobster, right? Yes. And this one is the beef tenderloin. Okay, and I brought the two sauces. Gorgonzola cheese sauce. Red wine Barola sauce. Would you like me to put both sauce on each side? Yes, both of them are really good. Oh, that's nice, the presentation. Yes. Thank you. Palo Esgropino. It's brandy. Lemon sorbet, apple brandy, and Prosecco sparkling wine. It helps you digest what you ate. It's okay? Okay. So we poke the middle once, twice, and then you choose which choice you like. Vanilla or vanilla? Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> Excellent choice. Thank you. And you have an option of putting your jalapeno inside as well. Yes, that sounds good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way, okay? So we put the middle once, twice, and then you choose which sauce you like, vanilla or chocolate, or together. Uh, together. Together. Like a tuxedo. <laughs> Thank you. Bon appetito. Thank you. Bon Thank you. All right, Greg. Hey. We had a really nice meal. Amazing. This is the remnants of Greg's. <coughs> Mine's gone completely. It was a chocolate souffle with chocolate and vanilla cream. Cream, I guess, yeah. It was all mixed in. They pour it over. They pop it open a little with two little hole thingies, and then they pour the cream in. So it's pretty good. We're just talking a little because we don't want to mess up the ambiance. We had a great day today. We had um, hung out in Falmouth, Jamaica. <clears throat> Got a few souvenirs. Greg went to the spa. I know. I was working on a video for a I little bit. I finally went to a spa on a ship. First time, yeah. It was actually worth it. It was fun. It was a nice, relaxing time. And I, then, I would do it again. Then we had an amazing night here <clears throat> in Palo. Always recommend eating here. You have to be at least 18 years old to be able to eat in Palo. No small children are allowed, which is always a bonus. For those of you looking for a Disney ship without children, this is a perfect spot for you to be able to do that. Spend some adult time here. Mm -hmm. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, we always give it thumbs up because um, we've been here quite a lot. Teodi was our waiter for brunch. He's also our waiter again. So it was cool for to have dinner. them twice. Yep. And he remembered us. Yes. And uh, Greg, favorite moment of the day? This will be the best moment of the day, I think. It's very nice. So my favorite moments of the day is I was able to try a beef patty, what I always wanted to do, as well as the Blue Mountain coffee. So we had that. And of course, Paulo is one of my other highlights, too. So <laughs> tomorrow is... Star Wars Day at Sea. Yes. So we're going to go down to guest services and figure out what they are going to be doing tomorrow, how early we have to get up. Well, we but we're going to bring that early. to you. Star Wars Day at Sea is tomorrow. It's going to be an extravaganza. So join us. Of galactic proportions. Yes. So I'm Derek. I'm Gregory. If you forget our names, I'm Little Explorer. And I'm Big Explorer. And as Walt Disney said, we are just getting started. Have a great night, Explorers. Dilly dilly, dilly dilly. Where will you pledge <laughs> your loyalty? The Empire is the true power. <laughs>